Here is the carrier. It is running under an extremely high heat and humidity load. Um, it is um, Thursday, July 21st, 2011, about 4.30 p.m. And it's about 96.9 degrees and the shade on the dirt and um, and the sun it's about a hundred hundred ten hundred eleven point seven I got a steady reading on so it's pretty hot um, anyhow any I'm gonna use a strategy to cool this unit down the condenser temperature it's pulling in about a hundred nine degree air the output air is about about 60% humidity right now. Heat index is 112. <clears throat> and, um, well, let's get the suction and liquid line temperatures. And that's the condensation coming off the unit. Uh, it's been running all day. Uh, it's keeping the house at 75, and the thermostat is set to 74. And um, uh, today's Thursday. I've had it on since Friday. Um, yeah, it's been on since Friday, uh, uh, yeah, I think that was the 15th or something, yeah, uh, Friday the 15th, we turned off Friday morning, and it's been on all those days, <sighs> and, um, We'll get to cool in it. Oh, and uh, let me get the suction and liquid line temperatures. Uh, another thing, when these, this, what this strategy will do is it will keep your air conditioner running at peak performance and optimized efficiency. How it works. These coils have hot liquid going through them and then it gets pumped through the liquid line to the furnace or the coil. Then the TXV valve and my case it's actually this is actually a fixed orifice system will drop that pressure and turn it into a cold gas it will get blown upon through the a coil then sucked back out through the unit into the unit and then the compressor will do the same thing you want to cool this refrigerant down so then the uh, orifice valve can cool it down even more plus this will also cool down the compressor and um, that will keep it running better. Right now it's putting on about 55 degree, 54, 55 degree air through the vents, which is extremely good. Let me get back here. I'm gonna redo the armor flex on these lines soon. It's about 102. On the liquid line, it's about, that's wrong, 100. 1.8 suction line it's colder it's colder I just got 54 okay it's been reading 50.3 degrees for about five seconds we're gonna get to cool it down now shut off my temperature gun, and then I'll get a temperature reading as soon as I'm done cooling it. Okay, here's how we do this. Uh, let me just make sure the water is a good amount of cold. I don't know where I'm going to set this. Um, let me just kind of make sure this is a good amount of cold. Uh, I'll just hold it. Here we have well water, um, so it's usually very cold. I mean, my hose is sitting out in the sun. There, so yeah, it's cold enough. And it's, uh, yeah, that's good. Uh, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna put this around my wrist, the wrist strap. That'd be very bad if I drop my camera.
Okay, we'll just spray down the coil, the condenser coil on the outside. And this really optimizes the efficiency and keeps the unit running at peak performance. This is a very good thing to do. Ooh, the compressor quieted down a lot. Wow, that really quieted it down. I mean, a lot. I mean, before, you could definitely hear um, the head pressure. This thing, you, it just, the head pressure, you could tell it was running. The head pressure was extremely high on it. Now, it sounds like it's running on an 85 degree day or so. And it, I mean, that's still very hot, but I mean, um, this is good. This is good. Oh, damn it. I never noticed this. Um, we have a service through the utility company where they come out and they maintain our HVAC system twice a year. I told my parents not to get it. They didn't listen. The moron who serviced this didn't put a screw back in the electrical panel, on the access panel. Look. What the hell? was he thinking? Wow. Okay. Okay, I'm going to position this um, somewhere. I wish I had my tripod. Which I broke. Or somehow broke. I think I dropped it. Oh, that must feel so good. Oh, that feels so good. Ugh. The air coming out of the condenser fan is a heck of a lot cooler than it was before. Actually, the air coming out of the fan feels pretty nice now. I'm guessing it's like... It's definitely pretty cool. Let me just get back here and uh, clean up the rest of the unit. I'll be right back. Oh, and I went behind the unit, the water was squirting, or uh, um, reflecting off and uh, getting me all wet, so that's why I shut the camera off. I don't want to get this wet, so I am getting a new one. And I also traded it, or uh, returned, I'm sorry, my DMC ZS3 because it sucked balls. The zoom was slow, the autofocus was slow, no camera light, and I hated it. And, uh, yeah, so it's gone. I got my money back on it. Video may have been good, but I want a fast zooming camera. So I'm just putting the finishing touches on this. Oh, and another thing to do is avoid spraying in that electric panel because there's a 440 volt AC capacitor back there, and you don't really want that to spark. That'd be bad. Okay, now we're gonna do the temperature reading. Air coming out of that fan's already nice and cool. Wait, I'm gonna do a quick spray on the side now. Condenser fan temperature. Oh my god. Uh, on this side it's warmer because that's where the compressor is. It's about 88, 85, 88 maybe on this side. air coming out of that fan. That's good. We're pulling in about 91 degree air. My battery's about to die. And uh, let me get back there to the suction liquid line. Uh, and suction liquid line temperature 
it's 82.7 and that's colder than outdoor air temperature and my section line temperature is going way down wait let me pull this armor flux back okay I was just getting 53, but now it's mangling with the outdoor temperature. So. Um. I was getting 51.1 for about five seconds. That's how long I usually wait to, until I get a steady temperature reading. So the liquid line temperature is 82-ish. Condenser pulling in temperature is, it was 91-ish before, but now, let me just spray it again. We'll see. After it's been sprayed, condenser pulling in temperature was about 91. And the fan output temperature was about 86 on the compressor side and 82 on the non-compressor side. This really works, trust me. Ew, I got a cottonwood seed in my mouth and ew. Yeah. There's high heat advisory out here, so I shouldn't really be out here right now. Um, more heat for the rest of the week. Thrills. Not really. The train is not running. I'm tempted to bring my hose over there and clean that though because it's filth. It's just filthy. My yard's green at least. Is it off? Let's see. I think it's off. Oh, and the train just kicked on. Believe it or not. Let's see if this is off. Yep, it's off now. I'm going in, sweating my butt off. Ew. Things doing a great job under this high heat. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Try this out at home. Please, it works. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Over and out. Okay. Here's my vent in my room. It's pretty weak, as you can tell. It's very weak. Um, Okay, this temperature, wait, oh, it's jumping all over the place. I got this temperature. This temperature was holding for five seconds. About 54 degree air coming out of my vent in my room. And I uh, replaced most of the air registers in my house. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, over and out.